Hello, David here, and uh, it's another brew day at, uh, well, should I say in sunny Yorkshire. Not a bad day here, a bit of blue sky. Um, I was going to attempt one tomorrow, Wednesday, but I decided as the weather was favourable, I'd, I'd have a go today. Um, now, I did say to those who follow my channel that I was going to brew another uh, German Hefeweizen. But I decided against that. I really wanted a beer I've never made before. I wanted a, a sort of an American IPA type beer. I've seen loads of them done and I've got loads of recipes but the, uh, on the internet. But the one I've settled on today is from South Africa actually. It's called Hoppy Wheat. Um, and let's have a look at the ingredients. I'm just getting the uh, strike water temperature up, the mashing temperature up to 65 degrees so yeah 47 with a bit to go uh, a big thank you um, on this one it's from Little Wolf Brewery in uh, Epping Cape Town South Africa uh, I have actually driven past it uh, a few years ago but um, the guy that's uh, put this recipe on the in internet uh, is a guy called Mike Hall so a, a big thank you to you sir and he's from realbeerrevolution.co.za and he goes around uh, craft breweries around the Cape Town area I think certainly in South Africa anyway and he gets to uh, look around the brewery interview the owner sample their signature beer and he gets a a grain father recipe from them so that people can make them at home on the grain father or on a cool box system whatever the system they've got uh, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do today uh, I hope I make a good job of it so let's go through the ingredients first of all I've got Manisota pale malt uh, I've got that's Manisota and that's Manisota so those two are Manisota and there's a total of 2.79 kilograms. That's those two. There's two kilo there, 790 grams there. I've got 250 grams of flaked barley. I've got 250 grams of Munich light. I've got 1.41 kilograms of crisp pale wheat malt. And last but not least, 50 grams of acidulated malt, I think that's Weyermann's, I had 250 left, so that's coming handy. The hops today, it's just a single hop, um, it's mosaic pellets, I've got 10.8 grams in there, that's a first wort edition, there's no uh, mosaic pellets going in the boil. And then the whirlpool and steeping hops is 35 gram of mosaic, so it's quite a simple uh, malt mill and it's just a single hop. I think the intention is to get out the fruitiness and all the flavours from the mosa egg hops coming through into the beer but I won't know that till uh, I've made it and sampled it in about four weeks. So yeah big thanks to uh, Little Wolf Brewery and uh, especially to uh, Real Beer Revolution. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to make some more of your uh, uh, beers uh, hopefully oh the sun's come out that's great so it's a very simple mash today anybody who's got a cool uh, box system it's 65 degrees for 60 minutes and then it's a mash out at 75 degrees for 10 minutes and it's a 60 minute boil now I forget now what I've got in here I've gone on the grain father calculations for the water, so I can tell you what's in there. The mash water is 16.3 litres, and the sparge water, I think it's 15 point, well you can't probably tell, it's 15.4 or 15.5, 15.5. So without further ado, I'll uh, get mashing in as soon as it's 65 degrees. Okay, I've put uh, 
790 grams of uh, Maris Ottery and I'm now putting a bit of wheat in. I only put small amounts in and then I give it a good stir, top, middle and bottom like I've said before. I don't rush this. And this is my favourite bit, this. It's the start of what I always consider to be a, a magical process. Um, this is my favourite bit. Now I'll give that a stir now. So I only put two little jugfuls in. Uh, I haven't got a camera assistant today, so I'm afraid you'll have to put it with the, uh, the poor camera work. Yeah, make sure everything's wet. We don't want any dough balls at this stage. Um, we've got to get as much efficiency as we can out of this. It's going to be a very pale beer, this. Um, South Africa is quite a place I love, actually. I've been quite a few times. I didn't do the breweries the last time I was there, but I toured Stellenbosch and all around Cape Town. Uh, touring the wineries and sampling the wines but the next time I go I'm going to go to these uh, breweries so uh, I'll put some Manis Otter in as well in look so I'll crack on with it all um, and I'll get back to you when I've got everything in and I'm ready to start the recirculation process Right, I've got everything in. That's the last. Um, very thick now, porridge consistency. Put the flake totes in, the malt, sedulated malt, Munich malt, all the Manis Otter, all the wheat. I'm always worried when I use wheat that I'm going to get a stuck mash or a stuck sparge or both and a, the bottom element plate getting burnt like happened last time I used wheat, but Hopefully I've got enough of other stuff in here to avoid that. Time will tell. So, yeah, we're currently at 65. I'm going to start um, the recirculation. I'm going to put that uh, round plate on there. You can just see it. And then the recirculation arm. I'll get a shot of that and set the timer for 60 minutes. So I'm just giving it a stir now. Right, I'll start, uh, I'll put the plate on, let's see if I can get it up and show you, sorry about the camera angles today, I've got the pipe here, let's turn the pump on and see what happens, ah, nice clear wort, well nice pale wort, that's what I'm after, I'm after a very pale, light, almost lager type beer, um, let's just pray that it doesn't get stuck. Uh, so yeah, I think I've started the timer. Yeah, we've got an hour at this, 65. Yes, we're on 65. Um, I'll check in a few minutes or so that it's actually flowing through. I generally put this pipe down the middle here, down this middle bit, and then if it goes down that level, I know it's going through the porridge consistency underneath all the, where all the grains are hopefully doing their uh, magic and converting their starches into sugars. So I'll get back uh, later on. Well there's 20 minutes left of this 60 minutes mash. So far it's going quite uh, smoothly. You can see how clear it is. I'll just turn the pump off a minute and let's just see if it goes down. I, I have done it 10 minutes ago but I just wanted to show you that, that it's flowing through the uh, grains underneath that plate. You can see it's going down now can't you? Um, it's not overflowed through that top pipe whatsoever. Very very clear. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this hoppy wheat. Uh, yep yeah, you can see it's, it's nearly gone. I'll put the pump back on now. Yeah, we've got another 90 minutes and then I'm going to ramp it up to 75 degrees uh, centigrade and then I'm going to time it for 10 minutes. Oh, 
Okay, uh, we're into the sparge. I've just lifted this basket up and I've dropped the 10.8 grams of mosaic hops in there and I'm now starting the sparge. I haven't had a problem so far but that doesn't mean I won't have one uh, later but we'll see. It's certainly flowing through nicely. So I have another 14 and jugs of that stuff. I think it's 15 and a half. I've just put the first litre in. It's all at 75 degrees. So the hops are in and that's it now till I play them out. I'll get on with the sparge then. Well, it's a bit of a slow sparge today. I put that down to the wheat in it, but it is, it is going through. Yeah, it's a bit of a build up of water on the plate. I push the plate down on top of the grains. Uh, well, not too compacted them too much. You can just see it's just catching a bit of the water. It's not uh, flowing as fast as it normally does, but it is flowing. And I'm only putting a tiny little bit in. So I'll get on with it. Oh, we're just about boiling now. Um, I took, um, it took ages that sparse, but it, it went through okay, eventually. Uh, I took a pre-boiled gravity reading just give it a bit of a stir while I'm talking um, and it was 1.039 I've got 28 litres of uh, wort in there uh, so when I, oh and there was 4.75 kilos of grain so when I put that into the grain father calculator for the brewing efficiency it came out at 79% I don't know what it should be uh, but I'm quite happy with that more than happy. I expected about 74 5%, but I've got 79. So let's hope uh, I get a good gravity when it's finished. If you remember, there's no hops now until flame out and it drops down to 90 degrees C. So I'm going to start the timer for the boil 60 minutes. Better do that now. I'm going to put a proto flock in at 10 minutes left. I'm going to connect the uh, counter flow chiller about three minutes left and just keep circulating hot water, boiling water through it. Um, and then when it gets down to 90, I'll add me uh, 35 grams of mosaic pellets, whirlpool five minutes, and sand 15. Get back to you later. Well, we've come to the end of the boil. I put a proto flock in with 10 minutes to go. Then I've connected the count flow work chiller and I'm about three minutes left of the boil. So I'm recirculating the hot work back in. I'm not turning the cold water connection, if you see the cold water pipe there. I want it to get down to 90. It's currently on 95, another few minutes at 90. I'm going to add those uh, whirlpool and steeping hops so we're just uh, getting down to 90 or oh, 94 not be long I'll get back to you when I put the hops in right we're down to 90 we'll put this 35 grams of uh, mosaic hops in drop them in please Heather it's my wife's just come back uh, to help me on the last few minutes Right, if you can now set that timer going, I'm going to whirlpool. If you, um, yeah, I'm going to whirlpool now. Have you set it going? It's on. Stir it round for me, please, while well, I just set the timer. Thanks. Yeah, I've just got to set the uh, timer. We've got a whirlpool. We started the timer now. So I'll take over from you. We'll pull for five minutes and then I'll leave it another 15 and then we'll chill and into the fermenter. Right, we're now putting it into the uh, fermenter. Um, as high as you can, love. My wife's helping me. This is stage I need help. Uh, 
trying to get plenty of air in there. We've got a bit of shrub there on, but not too bad. It's going through all that filter goes anyway. So I've got the cold water on, that's going in there, and it's coming out here red hot, which I'm going to use for cleaning. That is hot. Oh, why, that's cooled right down. I'll, I'll go and get the, uh, I'll go and get the, oh, where is it? Oh, it's here. The thermometer. One day I'll uh, invest in one of these throw meters, but what's the temperature now? Is it dropping? I can't read it at this moment. Anyway, we'll get back to you when we've got a temperature reading. Okay, we've pitched, uh, we're going to pitch the yeast now. It's Mangrove Jack's West Coast. Very clean yeast. I'm just going to put one packet in. This lets the op uh, character of the beer punch through, or oh, that's what we hope. I've used this many time, uh, many times before. It's a lovely clean yeast. Makes the flavours come out of the hops. So, uh, the gravity, I think it was 10.48, 1.048. So you just put lid on that please, uh, darling. Uh, and then I've got the airlock here somewhere. I'm gonna take, leave that on for 15 minutes. I might stir it, I might not. I might just let it do its own thing. But it was 22 degrees. That's not quite on. So that's my uh, Hoppy Wheat beer. And uh, as I say, it was finished at 1.048. Little Wolf Brewery, South Africa, Cape Town. Uh, hopefully soon we'll be filling some bottles and getting them on the uh, bottling shelves there. So uh, I'll wrap it up now. Um, thanks for listening and watching and uh, hopefully uh, I'll do a follow-up in about four or five days, a very short video, because 92 grams of mosaic pellet hops are going in that when it's uh, finished sort of bubbling in the airlock. Yeah, 92 grams. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a good strong aroma. So thanks for listening and watching, everybody, and all the best. Well, I thought I'd ended the video, but I think when I just checked it through, I might have made a slight error at the beginning with the recipe. It's flaked oats that I put in, not flaked barley, sorry about that. 250 gram of flaked oats. But anyway, uh, we're going to try and ferment it at 20, uh, 18 degrees. That's what uh, the uh, guy who did the recipe told me to uh, try and uh, get it to 18. So it's in the lounge, but I'm going to cover it up uh soon uh with my jacket so it's dark i don't want any light on it just short of 22 uh i didn't bother with last drops in the bottom so yeah already the airlock's showing signs it's pushing down i haven't stirred it neither i've just not touched it so again thanks for listening watching and bye for now